Big up, big up the whole island massive. It's your boy Chetana coming straight from the Golden Globes, you are saying? Now everybody knows about Tom Hanks' eldest son. You know, the one who's the image of his dad. He's just a little bit nerdier. You, you're so much like Tom. I mean, you, you really are very, very similar to you too. I am I like to think that I'm a little bit younger and better looking. Oh, yeah. well. But now we found out that there's another son. And, uh, well, we gotta play this clip again. I love the part that the cameraman, he goes, oh my God, because he knows what's coming. Oh my God. Now we actually found more footage of him going around the Golden Globes where he further speaks a little patois. Big up, Golden Globe Award, Tana. Now this ain't the first time that Chet, he's made news headlines back in 2014. Well, the guy was a rapper known as Chet Hayes. And he also got some backlash because he was pretty persistent on using the N-word. Pop isn't about race. It's about the culture you identify with. And can't no one tell me what I can't say. If you want to know more about what exactly he said on his track Juice, well, I guess you can look it up. It's not even on Genius. I guess he was one who was ahead of his time. But he wasn't making friends in the rap game. In fact, he was getting called out by the likes of Vic Mensa. I just want to clarify one thing. Under no circumstances would I ever go up to somebody that I didn't know and just be like, hey, what's up, my n***a? It's an unspoken thing between people who are friends who understand each other. All right, it looks like this is gonna be the big news story of today. We're just getting back into the swing of things for 2020, but let's take a short look at the life and career of Chet Hanks. And uh, we'll figure out if that accent, it has anything to do with his dad being in Castaway at the time of his birth. Just a, just a hunch. I'm sorry! My name's Michael Crowden, but you already know that. All right, now let's get into this video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! A man is blessed with a family sitting down front like that. Five kids who are braver and stronger and wiser than their old man is. It's your boy Chetana, coming straight from the Golden Globes, you are saying? Chet Hanks was born on August 4th, 1990 in Los Angeles, California. Now he's the son of Tom Hanks and his second wife, Rita Wilson, and he's the firstborn of two kids they had together. Now back in the year 2000, well, Tom Hanks, he started Castaway, so perhaps that's why he's got a little bit of an island twang to his accent. I don't know, it's just a hunch. It appears that Chetty grew up in Los Angeles, the Pacific Palisades neighborhood to be precise, and the family, they also spent time in small town Ketchumo, Idaho, which sounds super ghetto to me. Now he got started as an actor in 2007 in the role of Dexter in the show Bratz. Take a look at this clip. Now we can't play the audio, but Chet, he was only 17 years old at this time. He was being goofy. He was, uh, well, it's a pretty big role. I mean, not a bad start. Probably something he regrets now, but hey, when you're an actor, you gotta do all sorts of weird stuff. I did it myself. Now apparently in the Hanks household, there were no handouts, and if the kids seriously wanted to make it in show business, well, they would have to start at the bottom and work their way up. Now he also had a small role in Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. This was in 2008, and here he played the student in the library. Excuse me, Dr. Jones? Yes? Um, I just had a question on Hargrove's normative culture model. Forget Hargrove. Okay. Read Ver Gordon Child on diffusionism. He spent most of his life in the field. I want to be a good archaeologist. You gotta get out of the library! Now other notable credits include Project X, Fantastic Four, but more recently, he said some pretty meaty roles. We're talking recurring role as Victor on Curb Your Enthusiasm. And our neighbors, Leslie and John. What a hero you are. Thank you oh, for your please. service. Oh, thank you. The real heroes are still there, but I appreciate thank it. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Yeah, grateful nation. And this is our friend, Larry. Hey, hey, nice to meet you. Charlie on Shameless, where he plays a recovering addict and a young father. I actually love that show, he's great in it. He's also in Empire in the role of Blake. Now these are pretty big roles and very big shows. So the dude, he's definitely made it as an actor. But uh, if we roll back the clock to the start of the decade, well, things, they looked a whole lot different. It was in 2011 that Chet, he decided to switch things up and abandon the family name and career path. And instead he rebranded himself as Chet Hayes. He released music for around four years. He would also do shows and he had his own remix of Black and Yellow, which he titled White and Purple. How original. And uh, well, here is Colin Hanks talking about his little brother at the time. I don't think he's too impressed. Big age gap, yeah. I mean, you know, he is, um, 
you know, obviously he's doing his own thing. He's very, he absolutely very, is. he's very passionate about what he does. And, uh, he's got an, an incredible work ethic. Um, he really does. I mean, that, that dude hustles and, and works hard and, you know, I want him to be happy. I want him to be successful. I want him to, to feel like he's, uh, following his passion and, and, and doing what he wants to do. He's an actor. I think that's his tell. Now, as a rapper, Chet, he got plenty of publicity, but none of it was good. Now, he was also dealing with substance abuse issues, which is, uh, well, it's a deadly combination. Now, in a since-deleted Instagram post from recent, well, he wrote, I've been struggling with substance abuse since I was 16 years old. Finally, at the age of 24, I decided to get some help. With 50 days of sobriety under my belt, I can honestly say I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'm thankful for my family and everybody that cares about me, including my fans. I've been blessed with the programs of AA and NA, which allow me to rise above the disease. I'm learning to accept my faults and be okay with being human. If anybody that sees this struggles with addiction, feel free to reach out. Thank you all for the love and support. God is real. So let's take that into consideration before we get into the next part of this video and congrats to Chet on his new sobriety. Now back in 2015, he was apparently on a wanted list out in the UK after he uh, had allegedly smashed up his hotel room. This was after a few lady friends, they decided they didn't want to stay the night. Now next up, he got into a Twitter feud with Howard Stern and Rude Jude. And even Joe Rogan, well, he chimed in on the whole thing a couple years recently. Tom Hanks, Hanks' son is a rapper, <laughs> and he gets so much shit. Yeah. I don't know if it, it's Tom Hanks has commented on it, but it's got to suck. Yeah, because he's got to support him. It's his son. But the kid is <sighs> like... That's him? No. Oh, my God. Does it say limo life? Limo life. It says that on his knuckles? <laughs> oh, good Lord. Now, the bad press, it revolved around his use of the N-word, and for obvious reasons that he grew up, well, far from the hood. Also, you know, that he was entitled, and people just couldn't take him seriously. But, you know, it's kind of fair. Look, I know the majority of y'all are not going to get this, because the history is still so fresh in our country. But hip-hop isn't about race. It's about the culture you identify with. And can't no one tell me what I can't say. I just want to clarify one thing. Under no circumstances would I ever go up to somebody that I didn't know and just be like, hey, what's up, my n It's an unspoken thing between people who are friends who understand each other. Now, there was also an Instagram beef between Chet Hayes and Vic Mensa, which played out in the comments, where Vic Mensa, well, he called him a clown. To which Chet replied, I already knew you were a hater when I saw you at that house party in Beverly Hills. You ain't built like me, little boy. Don't act like you don't remember. Anywho, Chet's rap career, well, it was short-lived. Now, I wonder if he was just a couple years too early to the party. I mean, if he got started in 2015 when SoundCloud rap was exploding, well, it might have been a different story. Probably not, though. Chet became a father to a little girl named Micaiah, born in 2016, which he cites as a wake-up call. Now, he told Entertainment Tonight that Micaiah, she was his main reason for turning his life around, and he stated, It was the prospect of having a kid, and I knew in nine months there's going to be a baby here. That gave me the motivation to be like, okay, I've had my time with all that, and I need to move on. Now, he's still doing music, and he's half part of Somewhere Out West. That's alongside Drew Arthur. He also opened up on Van Lathen's The Red Pill Podcast, where he spoke about his time as a rapper. And this is what he had to say. Number one, I was on a lot of drugs. I wanted to be like, down, you know what I mean? I just felt like I wasn't enough. Low key, like subconsciously looking back on it now, I realized I was trolling. I thought like crazy antics and just wilding that F out and doing some crazy shit was gonna like spark my career. He eventually admitted, I did the ultimate lame thing. I did the ultimate cornball thing. And that shit wasn't cool. Now sober and with his career on stable ground, well, it looks like Chet Hanks is finally getting the last laugh. I mean, he must have some hood contacts if he could be talking like this, for real. Big up, big up the whole island massive. It's your boy Chet and I, coming straight from the Golden Globes, you know what I'm saying? My father Tom Hanks presenting in a while, soon forward come. Big up, tune in. It's almost like a Toronto accent. As for the rest of the story, well, we're just gonna have to wait and see because this is before they're famous or born famous. I'm not sure what title we went with. I'm your boy, Michael McCrudden. You guys can hit me up in the DMs for who to do next. And uh, yeah, I think that's everything. All right, see you guys in another video. Boom!